What's up, what's up? So, do you find yourself struggling to create and come up with valuable content for your audience without actually mentioning your company name? Now, I'm talking specifically to those of you who might be with a network marketing company, direct sales company. You'll definitely want to stick around as today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to actually create valuable content, content for social media without mentioning your company name. So let's go ahead and hop right into this because if you are not creating content on a daily basis, your business you're not going to create ever going to create a thriving business. I have been in the network marketing industry for over five years, going on six years. I struggled tremendously for the first four. And the reason that I struggled is because network marketing companies, they don't teach effective marketing. They just don't. They don't teach you how to actually stand out from the crowd and with almost one point nine billion people using Facebook alone the competition is fierce and so if you don't learn how to go out and create content that's going to attract people you're gonna end up like me for like the first four years it's like Nadia Melton says I was on my way to the NFL meaning no friends left I was repelling way more people than I was attracting really wasn't generating leads and so when I really started diving into marketing learning how to create content that was going to attract people to me, the magic started happening. And so I just want to make sure you're equipped and you know what you need to be doing. The big reason for not mentioning like your company name is because you have to understand when it comes to building a business online, each of us has a brand, okay? And most often those in network marketing think that, well, my business is my network marketing company. And if that's you, I want you to understand that you need to change that mindset and come to the realization that your business, your brand is you. The products you have from the network marketing company you're with, the products, the opportunity, the services, I want you to understand that those are just back-end offers that you have based on somebody's needs, okay? So you definitely don't want to be throwing out your company name because number one, it raises resistance and people are just going to be like, well, what is she going to pitch me? So so you're not going to have people as receptive to you if you're constantly hammering people with your company name. Number two, it doesn't create any curiosity. So when you're constantly hammering your company name, or if I can go to your profile or fan page and pinpoint what company you're with within the first 30 seconds, you're losing all curiosity and you're giving away the ending to your movie. Number three, what happens if for some reason that company goes out of business and all you have is this company branding stuff out there, then what what's going to happen. If something were to happen, if your company was to get shut down, if you were to decide, hey, this company isn't for me, I want to switch and start, you know, promoting different products, you would move on without a hitch because the only thing you would be changing is your back-end offers. Your branding and all of your value is still out there working for you. Before, like if you have a lot of trouble coming up with content ideas and how like not to really use your company name, it's because you're too focused on trying to make a sale versus trying to solve a problem. And I get it, you're with a company, you want to make some money, but in order to do that, there's a way to sell without selling. So understand that usually, 95% of the time before people make a buying decision, they're going to do their research. So if you can be the one that's like educating them and putting out valuable posts, it's going to attract people to you versus somebody thinking that you're just out for a sale. Just a little preface and a little bit of training for you before I start going into these examples. I am a huge fan of just trying out different products from people in the direct selling industry. I love supporting other people and my mantra is kind of like if I can buy it and support another mompreneur, why not do that versus going to the store? That's just kind of my thoughts. So right next to me on my table, I literally have products from like six different network marketing companies. So I'm going to give you lots of examples and this is whether or not you are in the health and wellness industry, maybe essential oils, hair care, beauty 
beauty, skincare. I mean, I have products from lots of different niches in here. So the goal that I want you to take away from this is even if I do not mention a like a specific product that maybe you sell or maybe it's not specifically to your niche, I want you to really think like a marketer and ask yourself from the examples that I'm going to be giving you today, how can you switch this up and use it to benefit and create value for your target audience? Let's say you are promoting some type of like hair care product and you're branding yourself as like that go-to person when it comes to hair care. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. This is a mask. So a great way that you can actually promote this product without mentioning the company name is you can simply shoot a video and talk about the importance of using a mask on your hair. You could also do a video on how often you should be putting a mask in your hair. You could do another tutorial showing people how to actually use a mask. Or let's say I also have shampoo and conditioner, okay? And it's specifically supposed to help with volume. So you could do a video, create a post talking about the number one reason why you have flat hair. And you could simply give some tips, like the top three tips to creating more volume in your hair. It could be, number one, a simple tip that has nothing to do with products, like not washing your hair every day. Now, I don't know the logistics behind hair. I know that you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. I think something about it strips your hair of something and it can create frizz. Number two could be using shampoo and conditioner specifically to create volume, and then you could give a third tip, whatever that might be. And then at the end, have a simple call to action that says, hey, if you want to know what my favorite product is and what product I use on my hair, then feel free to reach out or drop yes below. So this is creating curiosity. So I just created a few pieces of content from one product right here. I'm not telling you what company I got this from. That's going to be in my call to action. Now let's move into another product they have, which is dry shampoo. I've actually never used dry shampoo until this week. You could do a tutorial showing people how to use dry shampoo because that's how I actually got turned on to this product was one of my coaching clients was creating valuable content and as I was watching some of her videos I was like hey you know and I watched a tutorial on how she actually applied dry shampoo so when I got it I knew what to do and another reason why you need to be using dry shampoo is the fact that it's a way to where you're not washing your hair every day but you can still have like good hair that isn't all jacked up. So you could talk about the benefits of using dry shampoo. We're staying with the beauty products real quick, the hair products, is I have this root lifter serum. And so again, you can give, hey, my number one tip to creating massive volume in your hair. And then you can give the tip about how you need to use like a root lifter or some type of product or another post showing people how to use it the right way, the wrong way. For those of you who might be with some type of company that it's more natural based product doesn't have all the toxins in there this is something that another one of my coaching clients did is she did a blog post talking about all of these major companies who did animal testing and in her blog post she was showing pictures of like what these animals look like and also she named like some of the major big brands that do animal testing since then I really look at products and making sure that what I'm using Using are products that aren't being tested on animals and that's the one thing I love about these hair care products that I started getting is they do not test on animals and even on one of the bottles it even states on here cruelty free product tested on people not animals so for me that was a big deal and that's another reason I chose to go with these different hair care products you could create a piece of content around the top five ingredients that are found in most beauty products that you absolutely need to avoid and why. And then have a simple call to action saying, hey, if you want to learn how to use products that are a lot safer for you and your family, reach out, drop more info below, drop yes below. And that allows you to strike up a conversation without giving away the actual company name. Moving on from hair, okay? So let's go into kind of body. 
Before I had a daughter, I didn't really pay attention to ingredients. I didn't really pay attention to products. But after I became a mom, I really became a lot more aware of what products I was using on my daughter. So for anybody who has like natural based products or products that don't have like all those chemicals and toxins, a really good piece of content that you can create that's going to serve your audience, educate them, open up their eyes is how much certain products that you use can seep into your skin and have like a major negative effect on your body. So that's a huge reason why I chose to go with these products. This is a body wash for my little girl, all natural. They don't have any of those toxins or hard chemicals. So it really gives me peace of mind to use this. And then I also have shampoo and conditioner and that's specifically for my little girl. So creating content talking about if you have children, ingredients that you really need to be mindful of and stay away from to keep your family safe. So let's say you're in the health and wellness industry. They're little yellow pills. The reason why I got these is that it really helps to get over like that midday slump to where you're not tired. And let's face it, as moms, sometimes you just get tired. So instead of just putting up a picture of this bottle of pills where you can specifically see the company name, why don't you give my top five tips for increasing your energy and getting over the midday slump? Then at the end, what do you have to do? A call to action. Hey, if you want to know what my favorite product is, feel free to drop yes below or drop more info below. I'll be happy to reach out and tell you what my favorite product is. Now, another thing is like if you're given like five tips, it doesn't have to all be around this specific product. One of the five tips could be to drink more water throughout the day helps you stay focused, it gives you more energy, doesn't make you feel as tired. Then you could mix in some other natural ways with da 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 da. So let's just move on to makeup. Let's take for instance, this is a new eyeshadow palette I got in, okay? So instead of saying, hey, this is blah, 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 you know, you could literally do a Facebook Live, a post. Now, if you do a post where you're showing a video, take a picture like of the colors. Don't take a picture where it seriously has the company name on it, okay? This palette has like seven colors. You could do a video showing people how to do a simple everyday look using this palette. Then you could go live the next day or create another video showing people how to turn that daytime look into a nighttime look using the same palette. Tons of different ideas. You can feel free to mention like the name of what color you're using. That's totally fine. But I do not mention ever the company name. Another thing with makeup, you know, I absolutely love this powder. So instead of you posting a picture with the company name right on the front of the case, like most reps do that I see who promote this company, you could simply post a picture like of several different shades and maybe do a post showing people or telling people how to match their skin tone. You can also tell them the right and the wrong way to match their skin tone. So one thing I've heard, and I don't know if this is true, if you're in the makeup industry, maybe you'll know. I've heard to not swatch stuff on your wrist when you're checking colors because it doesn't give you a true match. So how do they know like what color to get, especially when these products come from like online. So it's not like they can go into the store and do like a skin check. You know what I mean? It could be various ways to put on foundation. Like, do you need to put it on with a sponge? Do you need to put it on with your fingers? What causes your skin to look blotchy? Maybe Maybe you're not using a primer. So my number one tip to reduce splotchy skin for a more even flawless look that lasts all day. So yeah, how to apply. How much primer should you use? Like, do you just need to use a little bit? Do you need to use a lot? You could talk about the importance of primer and then have a simple call to action. Hey, if you want to know what my favorite product is, let me know. So that's something that a lot of people don't know. So educate them. That's a piece of content it's establishing you as an authority. It's establishing you as a valuable source without you mentioning your company name. So let's talk about makeup brushes. There are seriously tons of content that you can create just from makeup brushes, okay? So when it comes to makeup brushes, 
Number one piece of content, do a video showing people how to clean their makeup brushes the right and the wrong way. So one thing I've heard of is like when you are cleaning your makeup brushes, you want to like lay them down a little bit so the water runs out and it doesn't like back up in there and cause it to rust. Again, that's a good piece of content. That's something people need to know. Also, you could talk about different ways to clean your brush in regards to what you need to use to clean your brushes. Like, is there a special solution you need to clean your brushes? Can you do it with just like regular Dawn soap? How often should they clean their brushes? When you're looking for brushes, for different makeup brushes, what do you need to look for? You could do another piece of content on the top four makeup brushes that every woman needs in her arsenal. So you could literally do a video like a little eye makeup tutorial showing people how to use these different brushes like an angled brush, this is a crease brush, this is a liner shader brush. So showing people how to use these brushes, like in what order, and do you put this one in the crease? Do you do this one like just over your eye? I mean, just basic stuff like that that might be super common sense to you, but to your target audience, they don't know that. I just gave you a week's worth of content. Let's talk about skincare. So let's talk about this. This is some exfoliating scrub, and I'm telling you, this is the bomb.com. But instead of me posting a picture of this tub where I can clearly see what company it's with, what about putting up some content like where you're maybe putting this on your finger, okay? Taking a picture of it, and you're talking about the benefits of exfoliation. Also, how often should you be exfoliating? If you have, you know, dull skin, what are three tips to brighter, younger looking skin? Exfoliation could be one of them because if you're not exfoliating, you're getting all of that dead skin piling up on your face. It's going to make your skin look more dull. And so this is a simple thing that you can use just exfoliating your skin. It's going to give you a younger looking appearance. Drinking more water could be one of them. Using a skincare line that's specific for your skin type, that could be another one. And then talk about, you know, you could do a post where maybe you have an eye cream that you want to sell and you're in skincare, okay? You could simply do a post that says, hey, these are my top three signs for reducing puffy eyes and dark circles. You could also do a post showing people how to apply eye cream. And also, even so much as like when you're applying eye cream, educating people on how you need to use your ring finger and why, because it applies less pressure than any other finger. And obviously your eye is the most delicate. It shows signs of aging first. So those are tips on just eye cream alone. When it comes to sunscreen, this particular sunscreen is literally the only sunscreen I'll use. And so when it comes to sunscreen, you could do a post on what's the number one tip to protecting your skin, okay? It could be using a sunscreen. You could do a post on how to apply sunscreen, how often you should apply sunscreen. It could be what you need to look for when it comes to a sunscreen. Like you need to make sure that it's a broad spectrum sunscreen because broad spectrum is going to fight the UVA versus UVB rays, right? So the benefits of a sunscreen that it acts as bulletproof vest for your skin. So these are all different types of content, valuable content that you can put up and post without me ever mentioning the name of this product. And if somebody wants to know what this particular sunscreen is, they're gonna have to come to me to find out. That's just the way we roll, okay? Let's say you're in essential oils, and I know those of you who might be in essential oils, I know that they're pretty strict on claims, so you have to be very careful. So I will tell you, if you are in essential oils, one of the best people that I can tell you to follow on social media to get ideas is um, Dr. Axe. You might be able to look him up by just Dr. Axe. He is huge when it comes to natural health and essential oils. You could seriously go to his fan page or go to his blog and get tons of content ideas. But maybe this particular essential oil, you could talk about the benefits like why use essential oils? I know not all essential oils are created equal. So maybe you could go on and start educating people what they need to look for before purchasing essential oils. So it could be obviously like the ones from Walmart. What are some reasons why you wouldn't buy essential oils from like a drugstore or like a big box brand? It's because maybe they aren't as potent. They don't do as much testing. If you don't know, figure it out. Create a piece of content. You could do a post talking about 
natural ways to boost your immune system. And so with this, this is actually an oil that I use. I diffuse pretty much every day and I rub it on my feet. I put it on the bottom of my little girl's feet just to kind of help fight off those germs and try to keep us healthy. So you could talk about three different ways to use essential oils. This could be topical by diffusing or orally. You could talk about different ways to use lemon oil. Well, you could put it in your water. You could use it to clean and you could use it to diffuse and make your house smell more fresh. This is another thing when it comes to like lemon oil. When you're putting oils like in drinks, how you're not supposed to put them in plastic because something about it can break down plastic. So if you're putting like lemon in water, how you want to make sure that it's in like a stainless steel or an actual glass. Educate people. These are all ways. And again, you can have a simple call to action that says, hey, if you want to know where I actually get my lemon oil, just reach out or drop more info below. I'll be happy to uh, do a little free consultation with you. Another one is this. It's lavender oil. I love lavender oil. So you could talk about the benefits of lavender oil. You could talk about different ways to use a lavender oil. You could talk about how it helps you get a bigger night's rest. You know what I mean? Again, I diffuse this every single night. I have a little concoction of sleeping and that is I use Breathe and Lavender in a diffuser and literally without these two oils, I can't sleep. What about those who work out and they are working out and they've got sore muscles and maybe they shouldn't be going and using all these like over-the-counter different meds or stuff to treat. So it's a lotion and then I also have the essential oil to go with it. It kind of smells like icy hot in a way, but my husband absolutely loves this stuff. Um, so anytime that like he's sore, he's like, hey, can you get out those like essential oils and lotions and put them on me? And I know exactly what he's talking about. So you could talk about various ways to relieve uh, sore muscles. These are just all very simple ways. I've thrown a lot at you guys. I've given you tons of examples. If somebody mentioned the product, you might find this, especially when it comes to other consultants who might just have good intentions and they want to help you out and get your post out there. For me, I personally used to delete the comments and then I would send them a really nice message message just saying hey just wanted to let you know didn't want you to take offense but I did delete your comment basically informing them I had to go back and train people why I wasn't mentioning my company products you know what I mean you have to start educating your customers you have to start educating your team as to why you don't mention the company name and all you have to do is do it in a nice way and they're gonna understand if you know anybody who could benefit from this if you know anybody who is struggling, maybe you see them out pitching their company, putting up, you know, just non-value spammy posts, but you know, they really want to uh, create a thriving business. Be sure to share this out with them. Uh, you can also tag them below because people don't know what they don't know, okay? And so it's up to us to really educate them and raise the standards of this profession. So I hope you guys got some value from this. Have an awesome day. Bye.